Hi guys, this is going to be my uh, quick guide into buying your first mask or if you're just looking to upgrade your mask. Uh, I'm going to start going through uh, the, the price range. We're going to start at the very bottom end. Start over here with the Proto Switch EL. Um, it comes in two colours. You've got a nice real three camo there. Um, also comes in black. You get a nice peak on there. And it's a very basic starter mask. Comes uh, with a, an anti fog lens, non thermal. You can get the thermal lenses upgrade. You've got a nice bit of foam in there, nice padded ears as well, chin strap, but the frame of the mask is quite hard, so you're going to get ball breaks on there, um, and not a lot of movement in there. So nice standard mask to start with. Um, next one up is the, the Switch FS, which again comes in camo, it's just darker green camo, or black. Slightly thicker foam in there, again, on the ear pieces as well chin strap on there, this one comes with a thermal lens as standard in both colours um, and it's also got this nice rubbery face plate on there so it's designed to bounce off um, any of those face shots or help to as well it's got a slightly bulkier profile though, a little bit wider on the ears still a nice comfy mask, it comes with a peak and mask bag um, you know ideal for those, those of you that don't go so often you know you want your own mask that's not going to fog up uh, but you don't want to shell out the earth on it both pretty good masks, in my opinion. Um, next, we'll have a look. Well, may as well go along the line. We'll have a look here on here. We've got the V Force Grills. Now, this is actually one of the uh, limited edition colours. Um, it's quite an expensive one. Comes with a smoke lens with this one. Now, all V Force Grills come with a, an anti fog lens rather than a thermal, but you can get them with a thermal lens. You just choose that option. Nice and comfy. Um, really nice soft foam in there. Um, no foam on the ears, but you don't tend to notice that when you've got it on. Uh, it's not really pressing against your ears. Um, you have got the option of a chin strap and a peak. They do come in the box with it, along with a goggle bag. And you've got a really nice soft, um, soft face plate on there. Plenty of vent holes in the front, good for your uh, breathing and voice projection, chatting to your teammates. Comfy mask. My only concern with this mask is just that dip above the lens there on the brow. Um, you might walk away with a few red marks in the centre of your forehead, I know I have. Um, coming on to the next one, uh, which is actually my personal favourite, and it's also a mask that I own, I've got three of these, Empire Events. Um, this is the 09, so with the soft foam ears, really comfy, thicker foam on these than on the grills, <coughs> excuse me, than on the grills. Um, just feels like you've got nothing on there. These are the best ones, in my opinion, for those of you that wear glasses. Comes with a thermal lens, a standard, not going to fog up. Chin strap on there, really easy to change the lens on. Quicker on these than on the grills, in my opinion. Um, fantastic mask, come in plenty of colours. And they've actually got the little rubber baffles in there to stop the uh, stop your voice actually ricocheting and uh, going up into your own ears so you can't hear yourself shouting. Fantastic mask, comes in a, a various range of colours, peaks, goggle bag included as well. Um, on to the Dai i3. Now, not really one of my favourites, if I'm honest with you. They don't come with a peak. Um, you'd have to buy that separately. Um, it, it looks looks pretty mean, you know. looks nice and chunky around the faceplate. Um, soft foam ears. It's actually quite comfy on soft foam. Um, chin strap on there. But to, where where the, uh, the i3 is let down is actually changing the lens. It's really... A, like a five minute job. You couldn't change a lens between games if you wanted to pod up as well. It's a real pain in the backside to try and get that lens out quickly. Um, but again, you know, it's a it's a decent enough mask. It's very similar to the Proto Axis, which unfortunately I've not got on the table here. Um, the only thing that gives the Axis the advantage over the i3 is it's slightly cheaper. It's about a tenner cheaper. It's also much quicker to change the lens. As with all Protos, you literally just twist up those ear pieces to replace the lens. Um, so that's the i3, and they only put in two colours, black and olive at the moment, I believe. Um, On to the JT Proflex. Now it's been around for years as a Proflex, um, and it's probably one of the most popular masks on the on the market, as I'm sure you're all aware. And they've just brought it back out at the moment in this uh, lovely lime green colour. 
that is fetching. Now, I tried this on earlier, I've never had one before myself. Feels so comfy on, really thick foam on there. Soft ears on there, you just don't feel like you're wearing anything. Very breathable, you've got massive vents on here. It's also a bad thing, you might end up with paint in your, uh, in your mouth. Um, the downside, in my opinion, to that mask is those soft ears. Uh, it just doesn't feel like you've got any protection on there at all. Again, it may just be me, but I really don't want to be shot point blank in my ears. Okay, I want to keep my ear in. Um, they also have a habit of if you get if you're wearing the peak, this middle pin that holds the peak on gets tends to get shot out quite a lot. But I know a lot of paintballers that swear blind by that mask. You won't go wrong with that. In fact, I'll probably look at getting one myself. Um, second to last, the new Empire E Flex. So if you haven't already noticed, or you don't already know. What Empire did is they bought the rights to JT and they've basically taken the best bit out of the events, the lens and the lens change system, the foam, and they've put it on the JT Proflex faceplate. Okay, they've combined the two best parts of those goggles. So any JT Proflex faceplate will fit onto the E-Flex, which is fantastic. So you, you know, it gives you so much more option for colour customization. Um, and also with your lenses as well, you can swap them over between the events, the avatar, things like that. These don't come with a peak though unfortunately, so they've got a, a huge price tag on them, they don't come with a peak, and they've actually changed the foam on there as well. Um, it's much thicker than on the events, and personally I think I don't think it seats as well on the face. Um, obviously it's all down to what fits your face the best, I mean the mask is the most important bit as you're all aware, so it's not something you want to scrimp on really, you know, if, if the mask that fits you the best, it happens to be the most expensive, you know, I, uh, you're gonna have to buy it. Um, oh, last on, last but not least, the Die I4. This one's in die cam. Looks pretty cool. Uh, comes with a HD lens. Um, very low profile on these. Now a lot of people um, tend to say to me, "Well, my chin's all exposed," and I show them in the mirror, and actually, it's not as exposed as what as as what they might imagine. Um, there, there are at the moment no peaks at all for the Die i4, although I have seen other YouTube videos of people making other peaks fit. Um, but they are really comfy, so comfy. Um, really quick lens removal system, really good field of vision on there as well. Um, and despite the foam looking almost non-existent, they're really comfy. Again, I've had one of these myself, they're a lovely looking mask. Uh, now all these masks are retailing somewhere between £25 for the basic Switch EL with a non-thermal lens all the way up to £109.95 for the limited edition um, black and gold or white and gold i4s. Um, I do hope that's helped you guys and given you a little bit more to look at. Um, have fun paintballing. <laughs> Thank uh you. -huh.